All right, let me show you how to very quickly and easily create email aliases inside the Google Workspace Admin Console. Now there is this link right here under users, um, but because I have multiple users, I find it easier to click on manage and then find the user that I want. In this case, I'm gonna set this up for this email address. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to find add alternate emails on the left-hand side. This will give you uh, the option to just type in your alternate email. Now, if you're a small business owner, you can see that I've already got hello as my general kind of whatever email. It's not specifically categorized and that's my main email address. Um, but I'm also going to want one for my newsletter. I'm going to want one for support. I'm going to want one for payments and there may be a few others that you want, like affiliates, PR, sales. And of course, you can name these whatever you want. It could be like, hi, um, could be like your main email address. It could be your name. So it could be Aaron at Out of Office Entrepreneur. It really just depends on what you want. But this is going to help us create filters that are going to help us auto sort our email. So it's really cool um, to be able to just set these up very quickly. Once we have added all of the ones that we want, we just hit save. And now we can start receiving emails at these email addresses and they will go to our main inbox. So what you'll do is you'll then set up, um, for example, in your PayPal, your Stripe, you can have that be your payments. And then I'll show you like in the filters what that will look like when it comes through. Um, for support, you can ha have your clients, your active paying clients, email support, which will still go to your main inbox, but will be tagged as support. So I will show you how to do that in the next video, but that's how quick and easy it is to add email aliases in Google Workspace. <music>